Welcome to The Art of Mark's Trains, Part 11. And tonight's video is a little bit unique. It's a subcategory of Mark's collecting, and it involves eight-wheel cars, six-inch long, with tab and slot couplers. And this uh, idea for the video was from Jody Smith, so a shout out to him. And uh, also, uh, another fellow that really likes si uh, six inch eight wheel cars with tab and slot couplers is John Brown. And so, shout out to you as well. Uh, we'll start with the freight cars. Uh, I will say that most of these cars, uh, as I believe, were available for separate sale. They weren't uh, included in sets. I might be wrong. But uh, most of these cars are fairly deluxe, and they um, sold for anywhere from 35 to 50 cents. And we're talking uh, 1938 to right before the war and uh, World War II, and where most four-wheel cars were selling for around 15 cents. So you really got uh, a big difference as far as uh, your pennies go. So we'll start with the freight cars first and uh, this is the 552 gondola. Same as the others only it has eight wheels and tap and slot. Not the one way that you'd normally see. And you got the 554 hopper. I've added the little rubber co-load that you get from Robert Grossman which makes it more interesting. Then you've got the uh, CNS Reefer uh, number 555, and it has a blue roof. Again, tab and slot couplers on both ends. Uh, the 567 dump car. You see tons of these, but they're all four wheel, and, uh, or mostly four wheel. And this one is a eight wheel tab and slot coupler. Then an auto car with a, a dump truck. A little clip on the side, and then the truck actually dumps. Another 552 gondola. And uh, let's go next to military cars. Um, I believe there were six or so available in eight wheel tab and slot. And uh, first one is a searchlight car. You notice there's no electrical pickup. It's a mirror instead of a lens. Great car. Also notice instead of black trucks, they have olive drab trucks. Next car is another gondola. I don't remember the number. Again, uh, tab and slots, hollow drab trucks. The loads um, are reproductions, as probably is the insert. And next, this one's missing the sparkling tank. Uh, kind of a rough car, but not real easy to find. You got the special clip for the tank. And then last is the machine gun car and uh, see if I can do this with one hand it sounds better when you go faster so that's a great little car and then uh, passenger cars uh, I know that the regular uh, Bogota and probably Montclair were available uh, but this is a 547 Express baggage. Really nice condition with the red and yellow litho. Um, red runners on the doors. Back to black trucks. Notice the journal detail. The, the journals are actually separately applied, just like the one way coupler trucks. And uh, continuing with passenger cars, you've got the Canadian Pacifics. And these were available in eight different road numbers. They came in both four-wheel and eight-wheel. And the eight-wheel, as far as I know, 
only came in the tab and slot. So I've got a Toronto, Quebec. Well, there's the tender for the set, and it's tab and slot both sides. Uh, we've got Ottawa, Calgary, and Hamilton. Not the best condition, but uh, you know you collect what you can afford. And then this is the locomotive that goes with the set. 242 Canadian Pacific um, 3000. And then last is a, a tender that has the same eight wheel uh, tab and slot. And I'll uh, run this behind uh, one of the Commodores. And so we'll run a freight set, a passenger set, and a military set. All right, we've got the freight train queued up to go. And I'll have to say one of the things that was difficult about putting this video together was finding all of these cars. They're all stored in different areas with passenger, military, freight. So it was kind of difficult to find them all at the same time, and I'm sure I missed some. So here we go. I know I said that uh, these cars were available separate sale and generally didn't come in sets. Well, there's always exceptions, and uh, if there was an exception, it was certainly the passenger sets because these did come in a set as well as separate sale. So let's give them a run. If you didn't see enough of this set, I plan to show it with some of the new marks uh, productions so that you can compare both of these beautiful wine colored cars. It's a rough set, but it's fun to run. Before we run the military cars, I wanted to show you some catalog pages from uh, between 1938 and 1940. Uh, I think it was a Woolworth catalog. Um, see that these basic cars are 15 cents. And then you get into the lighted cars, they're 50 cents. And these are all four wheel. And then 25 cents on the cars with loads. You turn the page, and now we've got eight wheel cars with tab and slot couplers. Uh, there is a Bogota passenger car, it's 35 cents, observation, 35 cents, tender, 35 cents, gondola, 35 cents, same with the hopper and the box car, and the tank car and the caboose. Let's see if we can find the military cars. Okay. So up at the top, you've got a 50 cent car. That's the uh, auto car with the dump truck. The lumber car is also a 50 cent car. The cable car is a 50 cent car. The wrecker car is a 50 cent car. 
the sparkling tank is a 50 cent car. Talk about play value. And then we've got the machine gun car, 50 cents. The ordnance car, gondola, 50 cents. And the cannon car, uh, also 50 cents. Great toys available in 1938. Okay, we're going to wrap up the eight wheel tavern slot car video with the Army supply train. And notice that we're running a four wheel tender and it hooks up nicely with the regular eight wheel cars. And then uh, down at the very end, felt like this train needed a caboose. Couldn't help myself but add a Thor caboose from Newmark's construction super cool look at the cannons all right let's give it a run Thanks for watching The Art of Mark's Trains Part 11. And thank you, Jody, for the inspiration. We're going to be watching lots more uh, Army trains in upcoming videos, so stay tuned. And uh, keep the comments coming and uh, keep the requests coming. Thanks again.